Hi friends. It's story time Sunday. I just woke up from a nap. I think I might have some sleep lines on my face. I'm not sure. And my voice isn't quite awake either. I'm having kind of some allergy issues. Anyway, I was just thinking about some terrible jobs I've had over the years. And I think I'd like to talk about the dog washing job. Back when I was desperate for a job, I walked into a pet store and I, I thought I would love to work with animals. It would be a lot of fun. And they said, well, all we have available is a dog washing job for the groomer. I decided, okay, I can do that. And I was thinking it'd be so much fun to wash the little doggies. Yeah, I had no idea what I was in for. Do you know everything that's required when grooming a dog? You don't just shampoo the dog. You have to clip their toenails and you have to pull the excess hair out of their ears because it can grow into their ear canal and get infected. And worst of all, I don't even want to say it's so, so gross and I just felt like this, the pay is not good enough at all. Don't make me say it. Maybe you guys could Google it so I don't have to say what I had to do. I don't. Not only do I not want to say it, I didn't want to do it. I got paid two to five dollars per dog, typically, and they had to be completely dry before we gave them to the groomer. And one thing I learned is that dogs also get sick when they're nervous. And so this one dog in particular, <laughs> I had to wash it like three times because just after I would get it clean, it would get diarrhea and then it would roll around in it. <laughs> At one point I had the dog almost completely dry when it happened again and I just wanted to scream and my my boss said you can charge extra for this dog <laughs> even worse sometimes I didn't have bus money and so a lot of the time I would take the bus there but I didn't have the money to take the bus home and I am totally drenched from holding all these wet dogs and they're, they're shaking off on you and you, you also smell like dirty dog at the same time because when you go in in the morning you know there's just all these dogs that should have been bathed a long long time ago so that's the first thing you smell in the morning when you get there and they want you to be able to feel if the shampoo is completely off the dog because it'll irritate their skin. So after a while my hands were cracked and bleeding and I had to, when I had to clip their nails a lot of the dogs would would nip at me and then this one day I went into work and I saw this cute little white poof ball sitting in the corner and I said oh hello and I I went to pet it and without warning the thing bit me and I just was so shocked I said this dog just bit me and my boss goes oh sorry we should have warned you that dog is really mean and we just sedated it so the sedative hadn't taken effect yet and then I seriously felt like I was in a horror movie when I had to wash the dog because its eyes were open and it could still bare its teeth while I was washing it. So I put it on its side and washed and rinsed it on one side and flipped it over and it's seriously like this the whole time. And my boss is going, hurry up, hurry, good enough, it's good enough. Because she still had to trim his fur. Some days when I came there, they had maybe four dogs and I might get paid $8 at the most. It was horrible. And this one day when I finally had the money to take the bus home, this is a whole other story, but this guy who I went on the worst date with ever, he got on the first stop after I got on the bus. And then I basically had to get off and run 
at the following stop because I wanted to avoid him so bad. So it's about, oh, close to 100 degrees out and I still have a 30 to 45 minute walk home. Totally worth it though because he was a psycho. I'll tell that story another time. So tell me the worst job you ever had.